I had my first child at 17, so many, many years ago. I didn't have any other option than to breastfeed her as far as I saw it. I was even able to work through that as well. Like I still worked um, and breastfed her. Uh, and then when she was two and a half, she actually just decided she was ready to stop. I come from um, a large family of bottle feeders right from the beginning from my mum down to all my uh, family. Um, so with my first two children, that's what I did. And, um, but my heart always wanted to uh, do uh, breastfeeding. So with my last child, um, I, I tried it, which I, I felt really uncomfortable about at first. And it's something that um, I didn't uh, let the family know because um, I was like a little bit embarrassed that I wanted the best for my kid. I had big regrets that I didn't do it with my earlier children because of just um, the bonding that was there. So this is Seriana, she's my second baby. Um, our journey's been quite interesting from birth. She was never really interested in attaching and had kind of some issues sucking. So we had to use a nipple shield for the first month. And I also had to breastfeed, express and top up because she was quite jaundiced in those first few weeks. My milk came in fine, um, about three days, but during the three days bef like between Logan being born and um, my milk coming in, he was hungry, so suckling, 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 and then that caused you know, my nipples to um, blister and um, split and all that. Um, and then when my milk did come in, he latched really well, but they didn't have time to heal, so it was really painful. And it was actually the midwives and um, Aboriginal healthcare workers that suggested nipple shields. And, um, and yeah, it, it really, really helped our journey along. Yes, well, I have been known to drive down highways with my uh, girls out and pumping as cars are driving past and trucks and giving them away. A little cooler bag on the floor with the ice blocks, keeping the milk cool. Hey. Although when we didn't have the, the uh, pump, she was hand pumping in the car and spraying all milk all over the, my dash. So I'm like, quick, get a towel, you're gonna kill all my electrics. The connection to, the, oh. to all the kids is something no one else can ever do. It's um, really financial as well. That's what I was gonna say, it's cheap. Yeah. For me, it was actually the convenience of it. Uh, I could feed her anywhere, any time and I did love that that closeness I felt with her when I was feeding her. It's just like a nice little snuggle, a time for you to sit down with your baby and just connect. I love the bonding and being able to spend time with Seriana and especially over night time, um, just that one-on-one -on -one snuggles and cuddles with her is quite sweet. I just loved the convenience to be perfectly honest. It's, it's quick, it's easy, there's no heating up, it's just yeah done. Very important in the development of the young child where they form that special bond and um, and watch that child develop. So us men, as fathers and as grandparents, to be welcome in to see and experience um, the nurturing of that child is very special. I think it's just a nice thing to do. There's more nutrients in the breast milk. Um, it's so much cheaper than formula as well, so it helps with your budget. Just that it's uh, breast milk's full of antibodies, which is great for little ones, um, as well as all the good fats, vitamins, minerals, all that sort of thing that you're passing on to them. Yeah. Well, there's been many a time when the children were really sick and it was, it, it really saved them. It was phenomenal because it, it cut the time down with the sickness. Uh, even when they, they never got really dehydrated because they were just on me. Jeremy was sick with um, RSV and he was in hospital for a few days and he had low oxygen levels and everything. And they told me that if I wasn't breastfeeding, he would have been a, a lot worse. Yeah. Also, it helps with the gastro for the baby, like the, the gastric, you know, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, all my kids were breastfed. Uh, all my grandkids were breastfed. Um, yeah, I can't see any negatives to be honest. Their words can't express like the excitement um, and the feel and it sets that child up for, you know, their journey and it's so important for their development from that young age. Breastfeeding is good for me, definitely. It's, um, it is very good for my mental health as well. So, 
yeah, it's it's that time and that connection because I am I have always worked full time as well. So yeah, it's it was my time with bubs. Like yeah, it was just my time with them. No one else can do that for them. From a weight perspective, it ate, it helped me to be able to manage my weight through that the earlier periods but I was able to consume so much more food. It was amazing, <laughs> I loved it. Because <laughs> so much of it was going to her. I found uh, for myself, because I'm an um, insulin dependent diabetic as well, but I found like um, during the breastfeeding times is that I found that my insulin, like my, uh, my levels always kept in range always kept in range. So um, I believe not only is it beneficial for your baby, it's also beneficial for like the parent and that as well. Just that time with the mother really helped Colby especially. Um, he's such a snuggly boy. He just loves to have a cuddle with anyone now. The bond through the breastfeeding that builds between the mother and the child is, is extremely important. Um, it's a bond that, that you know, can't be broken. Um, and also if, if the father or you know, the, the male parent is, is um, being supportive of their partner and, and the mother of the child and stuff, again, that's building that bond and that relationship, not just with the child, but with the mother as well, strengthening those, those relationships. Lots of skin to skin. Um, Dan was a bit funny on the first time. He was offered skin to skin. He thought he was going to be handed one child and was given two <laughs> at the very start. So he spent a very stiff hour in a chair with two tiny little babies <laughs> wrapped around him, which was beautiful, but yeah. No, we've, we've definitely spent lots of skin to skin with those guys, um, trying to do the bonding and and, and yeah, they were actually looking for nipples on Dan while the skin to skin was happening. <laughs> when I breastfed my, my youngest daughter, I got to know every part of her. And I just think the connection that it has with the mother and the child and the, the small baby, um, I found that I got to know a lot more of uh, my daughter's characteristics. The other thing too is that like the way we were able to like look at each other. You know, the moment that child or baby enters this world, connects with the mother straight away and it connects through that breech, breastfeeding and to the mother so it holds on to that relationship and connects so straight out of the womb it attaches you know to the external of the mother and um yeah to see that it's just yeah special moments. Probably my dad. So yeah my my father is um, a really big advocate for the circle of life and breastfeeding so yeah he, he's always been a really big supporter and hence why our whole family is really um we just it's connection it's connection to your little ones it's connection to each other so my biggest supporter was a very very close friend of mine who did that support from the midwives and the early childhood nurse and then other um friends and family, you know, helping with the whole breastfeeding, expressing and topping up was a long journey. And my mum and sister would often come over and help with my other toddler and then also help with her and just general home things. I've got a pretty good family network um, of support people, which has been awesome, yeah. But um, even the, like Linda, Nicole, the lactation staff at the hospital, amazing people, really amazing. Give them the space that they require, give them the supports that they need, um, be encouraging, uh, you know, let them know that it's a natural process, it's a natural thing, uh, there's no shame in it. Um, yeah, just, just be there for them. Oh, I just helped out any way I could. Yeah, um, I can't pump myself, so yeah, I'll pick up the rest of the slack. Our role is just to support and try and provide comfort, and um, you know, and it, it is, you know, it's a hard task for the mother. So if we, we're around, and you know, if we can vacuum the floor, or clean up, or give them that special time, you know, make it so it's not pressured, and um, there's no time constraints on it. Let let it evolve, and so yeah, it's our job just to support and uh, and be patient with it.
I'm just really happy and grateful that my children have gone on with that as well. So, and we didn't it, really know anything else. There's nothing else. <laughs> we yeah, didn't know anything else. It's natural. It's beautiful. It's connection, and it's it's beautiful to be able to have that bond with your children. And obviously, it goes on to the next generation. I just think it's so beautiful now that there's such a um, encouragement from the society and the community for breastfeeding to be okay in public. Because um, coming from a time when it wasn't so much, um, that for me now to, to be able to witness that is so important. And for young mums, or any mum, to be able to feel that they can feed in public and that be okay. You know, it's the most natural thing in the world and it shouldn't be something to be embarrassed about. It should be something that you're proud to say, you know, I'm giving my baby the best it needs for a good start in life.